You see, um, food security, as the word says, uh, is about security or lack thereof, to have access to food, available fo food, and uh, food of uh, decent quality uh, for nutrition. And uh, if there is no food security, something is at risk. And uh, food security really is driven um, by multiple risks. Risks coming from climate and weather, uh, risks coming from pests and production, risks coming from markets acting up, uh, and risks um, in the political context, so wars, civil unrest, and so on. So uh, we have to understand food security in a framework of risks, otherwise we cannot address it properly. It's obviously poor people who cannot afford food, so poverty is root cause of food security problems. But um, um, affected are also marginal groups in society. So simply saying we have food security problems mainly affecting the poor is not good enough. Um, those people who live at the margins of society, in marginal areas, or who are particularly vulnerable because of the um, ecology they, they manage, uh, we call the marginalized poor, and, and they are mostly affected. So it's a lot more people affected by food insecurity than the often quoted um, 620 million people. Um, or one billion. It's a lot more people. People who are this year food insecure, maybe secure for half of next year and drop back into. It's probably about two billion people we are talking about. The situation here in Ireland, um, um, in the global context, is I think Ireland um, has provided leadership in addressing food security problems. Uh, it has not forgotten its own history of the famine in the 1850s, uh, 60s. And um, that's why people like me enjoy coming here. Quality of debate is high. And at this stage, Ireland needs to contribute to the leadership of the European Union, um, being in the presidency. And what I hope Ireland will do is uh, to make sure that the commitments made by Europe in the United Nations context and in the G20 context are not forgotten. The commitments to address the productivity problem worldwide, the commitments to address the speculation problems with appropriate market regulation should not be forgotten. Follow-up is needed for that. And the commitments um, to provide enough development aid funding uh, for nutrition and food security. The current Millennium Development Goals, which reach until 2015, we have the commitment to cut hunger in half, are not good enough. We will barely reach them. Uh, um, Probably not in many countries, and what matters is really to reach them in each and every one country. But I think the next Millennium Development Goals related to hunger need to be a lot more ambitious. They have to have an end hunger goal there, not a cut in half hunger goal, and Ireland can play a role. And yes, economics is key in it, that we were able to cut uh, hunger in half over the last 30 years, that's roughly what it is, in percentage terms, uh, that is uh, big progress. It wouldn't have been possible without the growth in China and India and in many African countries. So an end hunger ag agenda needs to call for a pro-economic growth in developing countries agenda without hurting the environment.